Right, this is uh, this is now the return back to the area of the car park um, of Millbrook Cemetery. Um, I don't know where the paths are because it's all overgrown, except for this major one here. Um, and as you can see, it is kept on tidy, same as all the other five cemeteries in Southampton. Um, David Reeds um, says that he only prioritises more so on new burials. I'll give him that to a certain point. But what about the respect of the gentlemen and ladies and children who have been buried before he was taking this post from some empty city parks? We can probably see why the cemetery has gone like it is. Because if the parks are like they like this, you can see why this has cemetery has like it as well. The only thing I can think of is that David Reeds likes wildness and thinks this is better than having a nice kept cemetery for people to come and sit and talk, bring flowers, flowers to their loved ones and have a few quiet moments. Um, one of my pet hates is the war memorials at Millbrook Cemetery. Um, there's no respect for these men and ladies. Um, they are green with algae. Grass is not cut, except for this one, which is a relation of mine. Um, they reckon that the War Commission is down to them to do, look after the headstones. Um, I haven't had that confirmation as yet, so I am going to get in touch with them and see who's responsible um, it's only cutting the grass I believe it's the council so we will see in due course what happens right I am signing off now um, I will continue this battle while I'm breathing air from this world um, and hopefully we will get justice for these people here. My father, who is buried right over there where a cross is, and my grandparents, and every other grandparents in this cemetery, and others. Thank you.